Hi, everybody. Welcome. It's Wednesday. I thought, uh, why not play some Starfield, finally? Um, I've been chipping away at it uh, for for a bit now. Um, but I'm very early on in a lot of the faction quests. I thought maybe we get into some of these faction quests and get through, uh, get through some of that stuff. I expanded my ship last night to have some more cargo room, uh, which has uh, been, been very handy. My, my ship looks a little weird now, but, um, well, I don't know. It's, it gets the job done. There's been a lot of, uh, yeah, I don't know, uh, over the last day, there's a Kotaku article saying like, oh, this one quest gets you a really great ship, and I had just done that quest the night before, and the ship was not, <laughs> not, not, uh, not great, uh, or, or, or not as good as, as, uh, the ship I had, because I, I had taken the base ship and upgraded it a bit already. And so there wasn't really any, um, yeah, like, like by the time I got to that ship, I was like, oh, okay, this is, this is kind of, uh, you know, this is not a ship I, 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 maybe I should just sell it. Maybe I should just get rid of it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it, it didn't take much to upgrade my ship to a point where, uh, these other ships that I'm finding are, 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 are useless. I need to upgrade my piloting so that I can, uh, pilot class B ships. I think that that's the, that's the big deal. Did I manage to upgrade the cargo on the frontier? Yes. Uh, Arthur Geese posted a, uh, a video on to YouTube. <laughs> it was actually a very extremely handy video. That guy should work for a video game website. These, uh, these, these short, uh, guide based videos million views on that one by the time it's all said and done, I'm sure. Uh, but, uh, yeah, he, he posted something very quickly showing here's how, here's how you build a ship or here's, here's how to extend a ship. Uh, and I watched it when like, Oh, okay. Yeah. It saved me probably like an hour of just like fumbling around with the interface and fucking around. I'm like, okay, yeah, I just need to extend this, throw some shit on there, cargo bays. And then some more engines to perhaps offset the I'll show you. You know what? Why don't we why don't we get into the game here? I'll show you. Assuming we can capture it, I know, you know, sometimes these uh Windows, these Xbox store apps um are uh funky. Okay, let's uh, try and capture this thing. Starfield.exe. That's what we're looking for. Hey, nice. Let's. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, yeah. So I was literally just talking about this. That doesn't seem like it makes any difference whatsoever. It's weird that this game doesn't support HDR. Because I think it does. I mean, it has Dolby Vision support when I launch it on Xbox. Or at least the Dolby Vision icon shows up uh, on my TV when I, uh, when I, when I launch the game. So... Um, So I assume it has something there, but I, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, the the but when I when I launch it here on PC, the Windows 11. <laughs> no, I won't have more than enough until I have a super duper fluous amount of books. That's right. She needs her books. But if you bring her books, there's no option for here. Have some books. Um. Anyway, what were we talking about? They start chatting immediately. That's because I saved in the middle of a conversation that they were having. It's because when I quit, they were they were in the middle of talking. That's why why it does that. Um, oh, but let's see. Um, yeah, like it doesn't. Uh, Windows Eleven pops up the thing that says um, Auto HDR is on. Like it's it's doing the Xbox Auto HDR thing. Um, let 
This is what our settings have been. I'm not exactly... Is variable rate shading a... I mean, I don't... Well, whatever. We're going to leave it like this and just and just play the damn game. Um, it does obviously have FSR. I thought I had FSR on, but I don't know why it's off. It's weird. Anyway. Um, but anyway, I guess like the, the, the auto HDR thing is like a weird thing, but I, I, I find that the, the HDR-ness of it here on PC has been fine, uh, for, for whatever that's worth. I know people have I said that. I hope you're having a good day. I am. Thank you. Um, that, uh, over on Xbox, some of the HDR stuff is, is funky. I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, well, why don't we get out of the ship and I'll show, I'll, I'll show it, I'll, I'll show it to you here on the ground. This kind of planet may seem inhospitable, but it's just ready for some real estate developer to come in here and turn the place into a classy resort. Okay. Is it weird that there's an echo? Uh, well, look, we could we could pick apart the game for hours and hours if we really wanted to. Is it weird that there's an echo on that guy's voice considering he's wearing a spacesuit? And wouldn't we hear him in a radio-like crackle on a planet like this? Um, so basically I just made the ship longer and put an extra compartment on it that could hold these two cargo pods. Turn our flashlight on here. And then I slapped extra engines on it to help account for the, the extra weight. I had already upgraded the reactor and other stuff previously, so I've still been doing okay in combat, but, um... But yeah... So that, that's basically what I did. Uh, and I put an extra... Uh, it's up here, I think. Yeah. I put an extra particle cannon on it, too. Slapped one up here on top just now. Uh, or, or just last night. I don't think I've used it since putting it on. Uh, but now we've got two particle cannons and a missile. I should put the missile launcher here. I should really match it up to, to make it look good. Put the missiles here. Put the particle cannons on the side. Because we got two lasers up here. Are these different lasers? Or is that also a part? No. No, this is... What is that? I guess those are both lasers. Oh, it's it's because they're flipped. Do they not have aft and fore style lasers to go on the sides? So one looks upside down and one looks right side up? That's weird. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a little weird. Whatever. Who cares? Let me in through the sunroof. No? All right. Alright, what are we going to do? Um, let's go talk to somebody about a missing ship. Did I check, check out the DLSS mod? I have not. I have not touched it mod-wise. Um because I have found that the game looks fine and runs well. I have not, I, I don't even have FSR on, which I thought I did. Uh, and the frame rate has been totally fine. So uh, I have not really felt the need to fuck around with it yet. Uh, also, I don't know, you know, this is the, the Xbox store. Is it true that Bethesda gave early code to the, to the DLSS mod guy? I, they're going to probably do their own DLSS implementation at some point. It's not... I, I, that's, that, that would be silly. <laughs> um, that's a weird... That's a very strange uh, rumor. I, I doubt that's the case. Um, unless he's someone who's a prominent modder and, and you know, they... But, but people have been dropping DLSS into games um, for a little bit now. It's not like Starfield's the first one of those. Hey, I don't care who you work for. You can't just... Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? The one and only. Well, the Marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Truth is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here. But this city is real good at keeping its secrets. Even from us. Tell me your hair secrets, sir. Yeah, about that. This isn't Aquila City. 
The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace, make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. Yeah, there's a quote from a, an AMD guy. Here once, um, is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. If half the things I've heard about this place are true, then you should listen to him. Fuck you, man. Good. I'm yeah, lying. He definitely won't cause trouble. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. If it was right off the factory floor, it would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cost credits, nothing in Neon is free. Take me to Billy Clayton. You man. I should have taken uh, another companion for this. Than this dude. Um, usually when I go on my cowboy missions... I take my cowboy friend, my cowboy, my space cowboy buddy. That was pretty impressive how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Yeah, I read all the reports. You learned quickly that in Neon, staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't, it would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step in and do the job he could. I think it's weird that this now, game. Someone tried to hold up a bank here. Oh, thank God! Shut up. <laughs> um, I think it's weird that this game, ha you know, like those guys walk at their own pace, and it's up to you, to you to follow them, even though they walk slower than your walk speed. I think it's annoying that they don't move at your pace the way a lot of other games. When you're go walking with an AI companion somewhere they will run if you run and and so on um that's you understand to us, don't you? that's why you just told me that you won't cause trouble keep that in mind and you'll fit right in So we're just going to follow this guy. Okay. That lady's briefcase just disappears so she could fold her arms. I mean, I guess I, you know, make guns disappear out of my hands all the time. So maybe I'm, you know, I shouldn't talk. Put in an order with Got a second? Services. What? Oh, it's you. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of Goodman's people. Check. Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case. Audio in this game is really weird. I, I'm pretty sure. I mean, let's make sure it's stuck. But uh, I had to crank the voice all the way up and turn the music way down. But I guess the effects are still like that. Rain is still. Take it away, rookie. All right, go away. Weird. What do you need? Yeah, you fucking scab. Hmm. A stolen Hope Tech ship, huh? Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. Shipjackers. Well, gotta remember one from the other. You know what I mean? Oh, so I have to pay Neon you to. Neon is nothing if not fishy. Yeah, well, I'm one of them. I can help you. But right now, my life is in danger, and I haven't even done anything wrong. Freestar Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? All right, since I, I chose the trait of I'm from Neon, I get the... You know you know how these games work. I chose this trait, and so I get this extra dialogue choice that I wouldn't have otherwise. All right, I admit, I've got a bad habit or two. Look, I know your time is valuable. That's right. You give me you money. Credits for your you give me money, motherfucker. Now, if you'll just hear me out for a second. I really need your help. It's about my brother. 
He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. Sorry about your brother. Debt isn't worth a life. Well, on Neon it is. I'll do this. I swear it on my best set of wrenches. I, I want. I, I was Goodman thinking about using persuasion because I'm trying to level inside. up persuasion, but just from a story tight. perspective, I, I think I would rather. And he's got I think Dale would do this. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tangle with me. Yeah, I mean, look at your space vest. No one's fucking with you, right? Look at this guy. You suck. This guy sucks. Look at him, Jalen. Am I going the right way? Lova Oka no. <laughs> she's too good for Neon. Sounds like she's trying to help someone or something. Honestly, I can't. Okay, the way that lady is still talking, even though I ran away. Yeah, you see the activity pop up in the corner. That's like a, you heard something that will turn into a mission. <clears throat> okay. You coming? No? All right. Yeah. You'll you'll magically show up behind me, I guess. Right, let's just run. Then use my little jetpack for fun. Doing a little jet boosting is a good way to keep your oxygen level up there. You see on the... Well, I guess... You... Here's Here. where the magic happens. And by magic, I mean creating Aurora out of fish guts, I guess. I forgot where we're... Oh, yeah, right, the Lone Shark thing. Jetpack's also really good for when NPCs just won't get out of your your damn way. Let's quick save here in case there's something... In case there's a direction this conversation can go that we really this want to make happen. Property. Well, this guy looks like he's... Uh, you better keep walking. You this better keep walking. Property. What, Cobra Commander unmasked working over here? I'm not going to show my badge. That would be... We're going to use the, instead do the Persuasion minigame. Because like I said, I'm trying to level up Persuasion. And in order to level it up, you got to use it. I'm ah, not failed. For that. You're not getting past me. No. Oh I man. Can't. All right, we got to go all the way. How hey, we did it. That? You go in, talk to the man, and then you come right back out. Try anything stupid, and it's your funeral. Yeah, this will get you in. So now we, well, we don't have any skill points to spend, but that was the thing we needed in order to level up persuasion to the next step. You see, we succeeded in five speech challenges, so now we can uh, level up to rank three next time we get a skill point. Though I am trying to get, well, I can't do it yet because I need to destroy 15 ships before I can level up piloting again. If I level up piloting again, um then I will be able to pilot Class B ships. And I have a Class B ship waiting for me uh, that I can't fly yet. So I need to do that, and then I can switch over to that other ship, which might be fun. Um, or at least I can upgrade my existing ship with a new reactor or whatever and turn it into a Class B ship, I guess, I guess also. Um, you know, extra, extra weight capacity. Yeah, hey, you know. Let's go in here. Oh, wow. The, the battle simulator that the UC has counts as piloting kills. Yeah, I guess I should go back to... What is that? New Atlantis or whatever. And I, I had a key. You're not even... You're so little of a person. That, okay, there it is. I was like... That's what? weird. Got a problem? Oh, wow. Anything cool to steal in here? Hi! Oh, this guy. Well, let's let's do this again. 
Something I can do for you, friend. Well, now, always happy to have a visitor. Tell me, what brings you by? I just wanted to see your beautiful you eyes, sir. Credits, are you? Oh, boy. Let's not flash the badge yet. Oh, it's just a modest enterprise, really. You could call me an importer, an exporter. Inherited the trade from my daddy. But I'm sure you... You can tell that we're in business. space because of how shiny that dude's collar is and how plasticky it is. Such harsh words. You wound me. Have I loan credits to help those in need? Certainly. But that's no crime. I'm going to take pleasure in shooting this guy and everybody else in here. My due. And if payment is late, penalties shall apply. What a scumbag. Well, that's where you're wrong. Cal agreed to my terms, including collection from family on the event of his passing. It ain't my fault he dragged Billy into it. But make no mistake. I guess you're right, I dude. I guess that, that is how. I guess, uh, yeah. What's your stake in this anyway? If you think I'm afraid of some loudmouth deputy, you've got a lot to learn. All right, let's... Uh, then offer me something I want. Well, I guess we, we hit the and limit, so th this is not a persuasion we need to do. This is a lot of points we need in three turns, too. Don't oh, boy. Worry, um, how much Oof. Time you... Yeah, we're not going to be able to do it. Do you think I like having to do this? I don't. We just need three. Oh, hey. Just calm down now. I suppose I you don't understand this system. So, you know, the, the color coding implies that the higher points ones are more difficult uh, skill checks, basically. Um, and you need to fill up the bar. You need a certain number of points, and you can only fail a certain number of times before it is over. And so you, you basically try to... Um, I could use a new suit. Time to ask for more protection money. Oh, you s Ugh. All right, whatever. Sure. We talked our way out of it. Yeah, the computer, the Starware computers, I, I have not, I have not seen anything implying that Starware plays a part in the story. Maybe there's a Starware factory somewhere, I don't know, but the right way? Yeah, that's a work. Oh, oh! On top of that, we fell. And I sprained my ankle! Damn it! At first, but took forever to get down. Stupid. <laughs> so stupid. And that wasn't even the way to go. God damn it. Uh. This door just doesn't open. You're telling me I should go through this door. Quite enough. Oh. Now it okay. What well, the hell? I got a sprained ankle. Move out of my way. Pops coming through. You know, so like all the other games like this, you you know, there's all these factions and you join them all. And so you can be I'm a cop, I'm a military guy, I'm a um I'm a pirate right now. Wait, oh wait, now you're saying, jeez, oh, dude. That has not been a problem, the the weird updating of, of mission icons. That, that I've not seen a lot of. That's weird. Uh, yeah, I'm a space pirate, but that's because I'm infiltrating the space pirates on behalf of the, uh, uh, the, the military. 
So I'm sure I can just become a pirate if I wanted to and ignore the military part of it. And also I'm a, what's the, oh, I'm a, I'm a gopher for a corporation. I went and got everybody coffee. That's the other faction. And then they, I got coffee so well that they were like, man, you should uh, start infiltrating other companies on our behalf and you should be a corporate. You should, yeah. Yeah, fuck you, man. Did you talk to Goodman? Yeah. I figured he wouldn't want to make an enemy of the Freestar Rangers. Glad the badge still means something around here. Hmm. The Syndicate doesn't worry all that much about the Rangers. I think our new deputy here is just a real smooth talker. Okay. Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. What are you listening to? For his name, Grace Early. Stealing ships is just doing TikTok videos, walking around, to sell the goods. talking to guys in neon and wearing headphones. A job for some mercenary out what are you listening to? She's been throwing money around. So oh, Pineapple Upside Down by Queef Jerk Sick. I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. Why don't you just leave, man? Oh, should I fix my sprain? What's it do? Sneaking uses O2. Yeah, so so now when I crouch, joint pain. Uh, and so oxygen is really just a stamina mechanic for physical activities. And so now that I'm injured, it's like, oh, my joint pain, I've got a sprain. And so now when I crouch, it, it requires oxygen. That's okay. I'll fi Well, let's see if we have anything to fix it with. We'll go to the aid. These are the menus. They're not great. It's like a fat list of stuff, and so now I go like, okay, my health bar has that color, that, that icon on it. I need to scroll through all of these things to see if I have anything in my inventory that fixes that. And it's just this, which is a, it seems like a really helpful item because it heals everything. And I would rather not waste it on something as simple as a sprain. There we go. No. There. There we go. Repairing immobilizer. We have cured our sprain. All my life I've wondered at the hunts. So you have stuff like that where like, you know, you get burns by being what are you just bouncing up and down? Um you get burns by being on a hot planet and then uh and then when you run you take bleeding damage or you know, weird stuff like that. Uh can you visit a clinic to fix that stuff? Probably, yeah. There's a doctor somewhere in here. Good luck finding it with this game's hot map system. Um, let's look at the map. Here's the map of town. This is my ship. This is the area we are now. Let's zoom out. Pretty cool, huh? When, when people say, hey, this game's got bad maps, this is what they're talking about. There's nothing in here that I can use to say, hey, here's the, the doctor. You do have a scanner, obviously. Um, but that will not, I can't say, like, take me to the doctor. Instead, the scanner actually just shows the same icons that that uh, map screen did. And I can point at stuff and hit the button to fast travel. Uh, except not from here, because I think this is technically an indoor area. And so it's you have to I have to run somewhere first before I can fast travel, I guess. I don't know. So that that's really annoying because these these cities are elaborate and big and you know, you it's like, yeah. If I knew where the doctor was, I could totally go uh buy a bunch of healing items or whatever else and all that stuff, but unless I just happen to walk by it and remember like, oh I should buy some shit, I'll never do that. Because there's no easy way to find that stuff. And so that's why I've been fast traveling a lot and using the scanner, which will tell you, hey, walk this way. Yeah. Nothing like the velocity of the rough ship that seen him. A free star ranger and his, what are you? A sidekick or something? I'm free star ranger deputy Dale. Well, I'm sure your mom is real proud. So how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? This is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring backup just for little old me? 
I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. Aw, oh, ain't you polite. I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got... That sound about right? All right, so I jacked a ship. It was just a little fun. I didn't even keep it. It was a job. I turned it over to some men, and they took off for who knows where. End of story. Nothing I did put anyone in danger, okay? Uh, yeah. They were mercenaries. Hey, all I did was provide them with transportation. They didn't say anything about where they were going or why. Look, I wouldn't have gotten involved if I thought anyone would be hurt. I've got no love for violence. I've got no love for, for violence. It's just as bad as giving consent. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No. Oh, God. Y'all oh, gee willikers. I, I didn't... It, it's not that simple. So, yeah, so for people who said they weren't understanding the system, you see at the bottom of the screen, I need six points and I have three turns. Every time I fail, that takes a turn. Um, and so, you know, this one is, I guess, what is this, green? So this would be a safe one to do, but it would take a turn, you know. So I, it doesn't, you only, you you still lose turns on, on successes, I guess. So basically I have three turns to get six points. And so one point is not very many. How does it decide the color? I assume it's because of the pluses, you know, at low points, lower risk. So if you suddenly need six points on one turn, that's going to be a harder one to do. And the colors probably change um, based on your persuasion skill. What are the percentages? We don't know. But we, well, I can't look at it now. But uh, we're just going to hit auto persuade because I've leveled this up a little bit. Maybe. Need to think about it. Well, why? Okay. I thought I filled it up, so. Maybe so. Why are we still? Oh, that only, that only worked for one. Shit. Okay. Well, whatever. Understand. We did it. I'm trying to figure out a way to help you, okay? I guess if I can't trust a free star ranger, then I can't trust um, anyone, right? Yeah, like if if if, if you succeed on your last turn, then it doesn't burn a turn. So you can kind of like critical first, success your way through she it. She had a job for me. She was working with someone inside Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. We were deep into planning the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. Haven't heard from her since. No, but it sounded serious. Didn't seem right I should pro Only some kind of offhanded comment about their client wanting to expand the operation ahead of schedule. In my line of work, you learn not to ask a lot of questions. Not long after that. I got a message from a guy named Marco. Uh, don't trust him. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here, take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Not so much as a hint. Bankroll in the first must take a lot of money. I'm sure, he's got all kinds of side hustles going on. Oh, thanks, Mr. Mustache. No. Left me. Nothing, really. Yeah. Next time you're at the rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. Okay. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone could crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, deputy. Then I'm free to go. Oh. Uh, you're welcome. Guess I ain't used to the law being so polite. 
Okay. Oh, that guy wasn't saying, hey, stop and talk to me. That guy was just giving some empty dialogue there. Okay. Uh, all right, so now we need to go to this other city, so we can just go there like this. This is a different planet we're going to, I think, by the way. Rough place. Gotta hand it to them, though. They're making it work. And I think that's maybe like, uh, you know, I don't know, missed opportunity, whatever you want to call it. But like, um, all the fast travel stuff makes the game feel real small. But it doesn't seem like you have a lot of great options if you didn't want to do fast travel. Um... You know, so we can look at the planet. We can back out to the system and see other planets we might want to fast travel to, like Skink here. And then we can go out to the galaxy, and then, you know, this is kind of the widest view. And you can see some of the different places you can go and what level they are. And we can set a course there and, you know... uh and basically, we were setting course for a planet, and then you fast travel this way. Is there space skooma? Yeah, there's a drug you can get addicted to. They should have just called it skooma. Getting a little framey here. That's, uh, that's because we're streaming, though. That's, you know, the extra added weight of streaming software. This area has not been framey when I've been playing it. So this is the main base for the Freestar Rangers, which are our space cowboys. Yeah, how do you even do big space? Like, yeah, I, I honestly, yeah, I, I agree. Like, if they had made this game, like, Elite Dangerous or any kind of, like, big space that you had to, like, travel across and, and do actual space trucking, I, I don't think... I don't think that would be fun in the, this world. Considering the nature of these quests and what you're doing, I don't think that that would be uh, a very good game. Hey there, deputy. Look who it is. Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nia's report said you were heading for Neon? I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Yeah, why aren't you... Why oh, just go? I can't fly anywhere. Issues with my Eustachian tubes. Being in a pressurized okay. environment is like someone taking a laser cutter to the sides of my head. It's not great. But at least I can pretend to visit the party capital of the galaxy by having you tell me about it. What? You serious? Well, that's a first. Well, I guess not everyone likes to have a good time. I hate having a good time, Speaking Alex. Of which, on to business. So how to go? Turn up. Oh, come to daddy, my sweet little mystery slate. I see lots of coffee. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It help. Just look for me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. You're counting on me. You know, please and thank you, go Oh, how about this? Uh, get fucked. Really big fonts on these, uh, space computers. Really shitty interfaces. So I, I saw someone saying, hey, it, you know, it's like a really kind of um, dull take on the future that, you know, we still have TVs that are widescreen 16 by 9 and these monitors and all this other stuff that, like, that their vision of technology and how people use it is still rooted in a lot of this stuff uh, that we're using today. And I think that's a, that's a, a reasonable um, complaint, I think. But I, I don't know. Like, I like that the there's aspects of the game that feel grounded. Might be hard work, but it sure beats living under the 
Um, how do I get up there? You're just not going to give me an arrow for this one, huh? Okay, that goes outside, so I don't think we want to go. There is another... There's... there's. Oh, here it is. I need a word. Word. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? Grace Early? Yeah, I've heard the name once or twice. Have I gone to Neon yet? Sounds yeah, we like were just there. Real progress. Good. Stay focused on the task at hand and don't take your eye off the target. That's how a ranger should think. What did you learn from the starship thief? Now we're getting somewhere. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. Mm. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I can give you some background if you want it. Or Have I gotten anything that you unlock through the story yet? Uh, yeah. It's not... Um... It's not a... It, it's For as much as it seems like a game-changing sort of thing, it is not. <laughs> the abilities you earn on the other side of that have not been... There was a mech driver in the 1st Cavalry named Marco Graziani. He came from money. And when the 1st Cav got a reputation as the top unit, he transferred in. Rumor was that bribes made it happen. Marco had a knack for getting hold of anything we needed. There was talk the family fortune came from smuggling, and I believe it. He had this dream to become a wealthy businessman when he got out. They said she was a child prodigy, which pro I don't think she'd ever give him up. Like what? Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Free Star Collective space and provides. They got a delicious the sandwiches over there. Credits can buy. Hit up the clinic. They also guarantee privacy, so it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead is posted there. I'll. Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now. Look, uh, just remember, that's outside. Your priority is to gather more intel about the... Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Free Star Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't going to get a warm welcome. Good hunting, Deputy. So far, money hasn't been a problem. I have... What do I have? Is there no... Is it in my inventory? Yeah, so I have like 200,000 credits. I just spent like, I think... 30 or 40,000 on ship upgrade stuff. And I still have a lot. I got a lot of money, but I don't really feel like there's a lot of great places to spend it. Or maybe I just, you know, like the game hasn't led me past enough shops that feel like they have good inventory. Like I, I, I feel like I haven't seen anything uh, worthwhile. Why does space always have to have cowboys? It, I, yeah, it's that's a that's a. Once we hit through those gates, Yasta will start hunting us down pretty fast. So beware. What? Where do you think we're going, dude? We're still in town. Um, I'm just jumping out of this building. Because it's easier than walking all the way down the stairs. Um, My brother yeah, I mean, you know, because because space is always viewed as a, a new Wild West, right? It's a new frontier. It's a new, you know, like it's the space frontier. And so they, they treat it like, oh, well, that's cowboys. And then you, but you literally end up in these situations where it's like you're in space, but these guys got cowboy hats and shotguns, and they're a little yeehaw about stuff, and you're like, 
why why did it go that way they think it is you know i needed this exploring the galaxy with you by day investigating the mysterious legal woes of my long dead spouse by night Fasco never appreciated my humor that much. Hmm. I was just remem... I told him all about Irvin. He showed me a chart of how sad I should... Oh, we got to point B many times just fine. Anyway, I'm glad you're here right now because we have things to discuss about Irvin's case. Every companion has their kind of back from my backstory quest thing. I looked into Hephaestus Mining Corporation. Looks like they paid off the judge. And uh, I haven't and actually had to go all. do anything for anyone Contact yet, but really it seems like I'm getting there maybe with this guy. The witness was threatened until he withdrew we'll his testimony. And thanks to our contact, we now have the receipts. My contact has an audio log with the identity of the speaker verified, time-stamped, everything. Bank transactions. A precise amount was tra- No, my contact does for now. And it depends on what I want to do. Hmm. I tend to agree. It's interesting. Not enough to take it to a lawyer yet. You're so going to ask me for more money, aren't you? Who has access corporate archives before? A cyber runner. They can dig into the classified archives before we go to a lawyer. We can pay extra for them to use less legal methods to obtain information, but that adds risk. I don't know. I guess that's a good question for a lawyer. I appreciate that, Captain. But I'll take care of any fines or bribes that come up from this. You have always been so supportive of me during this process. Let me take care of this part. Depending on what they find out, it might be time to talk to a lawyer. I'll see if I can find one. Whew. Taking on Hephaestus isn't going to be easy. And mm -hmm. I say this as someone who's fought the Crimson Fleet. Maybe I should study up on the art of cross-examination. Might come in handy at the trial. That's solid advice. Know your actual limitations. And not the ones granted to you by a mysterious superpower. Anyway, let's go adventure while we wait on the cyber runner to get back to us. Let's go adventure while we wait on the cyber runner to get back to us, he said. Okay, well, we can continue down this quest line or we can move on and do something else. I don't know. Um, let's, let's do this one. Let's, uh, let's go to the base of the Crimson Fleet. A set of uh, pirates that we have infiltrated. How long we're gone, it's always good hey, to Dad, be back. Hey, Dad, want to hear a poem I wrote? It's called a haiku. I just read about them. A haiku, huh? That sounds exciting. Let's hear it. Okay. Distributing some it's ship power over here space. that, for some reason, was not <laughs> space is cold distributed. Space is and dark. Starships fly there like comets, Nobody hails carrying me. us just do home. Your business. It's not bad. Hey, will you write it down so I can carry a copy with me? I'll copy down, too. You know how you lose things. I still don't know how you lost that picture of Nibbles the Comet Eating Bunny. Yeah, it, it, setting power presets would be nice. Um, like, in, instead of having to manually adjust it each time, having, like, you know, just some, some set power uh, things, it's a little weird. All right, let's go over there. Got you cut. Now get out of my face. You said the take was 10k, but it was 30. Hello. Big difference on 40%. Hey, my robot's here. Versus 30. If you bring the robot with you as part of your crew, he always stands at the the door to your ship. 
And that puts him in some weird situations where, like, we're hanging out on the pirate ship, and then, oh, hello. Oh, look at these guys. You kidding me? Way to make a mess in front of my new room. Hey, steal from me and get caught. Better off dead. Let me steal it. Sounds like you did the fleet a favor. Now toss this body out of an airlock before it turns day, into Captain. a damn air freshener. The hell took you so long? Forget how to grab jump or something? Please. It'd be one less sloppy rook whose mess I had to clean up. The last thing I need is another Austin rake getting cold feet. Yeah, so true. You wanna leave the fleet? You pay the price. Not in credits. But in blood. Blood in, blood out. I, I hear you. Never apologize. And if they don't respect you, put a gun to their head and they'll get the message. But all that aside, you made it. So now you get to hear a nifty history lesson. Pencils ready? Good. This floating scrap heap you're standing on is called the key. Might look uh -huh. a little beat up on the outside. You think? And that's... But I can give you the short version. I love tours. Gift shop lasts this time, though, right? I want to stay focused. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. I'll tell you all about the key. While I waited for your... Yeah, whoever, whichever companion you brought to quip. Me. You know, I took... I, I ended up... Um, when you create a character, you know, you pick some traits. And I picked the introvert trait, which gives you an armor and, and whatever bonus if you're alone thinking like oh i'm just gonna fly space alone and i don't need any anything else and, and and then as i started meeting the characters i was like oh yeah i should bring some of these characters along and you know there's quests and stuff with them that that make it valuable to have them with you um and so like i took that bonus and now it's useless because i always have someone with me uh except for like story situations where you where you don't History time. Um, and so I should have so, gone extrovert, which gives you a bonus when you have people with you, but hey, too late for that. That's the very same ice ball where the United Colonies built a supermax prison they call the lock. The UC is so clever. Supermax prison, lock, key. Uh, cute, huh? Huh? Oh, you're now, just okay. We've got everything the fleet needs right here. Of course, you've got to pay for it. Remember, on the key, credits are king. What the hell is this? All right, all right, hang on, Nev. Before you get pissed, I've got my hands full. Jasmine, sweetie, I'm trying to give a tour here. So you want to tell me why those damn doors are sealed? It's called a malfunction, you know. That thing I spend most of my day dealing with, believe me, my people are on it. You guys should shoot each other with oh, guns. For once. Aww. And you always, Angel. This here is Jasmine. You need anything for your ship? She's got you covered. I need cool shit for my ship. Since these doors have given out on us. Or do you just have the same inventory so that every other ship about vendor has? About a hundred years ago, the prisoners down there rioted and took over the place. After stealing some ships, they were actually able to make it up here and took over the key. About time you brought us new blood, Neva. I was getting tired of trading with the same old faces. You're just ticked everyone's getting wise to your ridiculous prices, Aludra. Anyway, haha, <laughs> but I kid. Overlook, where you'll be lucky if these blood sucking leeches don't bleed you completely dry. Whoa, whoa. It's not our fault that people don't appreciate how much it costs to get untraceable merchandise onto the key. Neva's just whining because she thinks she lost a ton of cash selling us a shipment of gear. She should have done her homework. Yeah, sure, laugh it up. I remember you can really feel the warmth and the camaraderie. Cheap skates. You know, I, I don't know. Like, that's... 
Maybe a good example of an interaction that feels like how the interactions in these games have felt all along. Stuff that you would hope, like, maybe over time they would get a little bit better at some of that. Of course, Jasper Crix had a lot to do with all that, but, uh, we'll get to him. Later. My companion just wandering into the shot. Meet Zuri, queen of the rare exports. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Neuro amps, blueprints. Hit her up and she'll take care of you. Speaking of which, I don't know what blueprints are. Is that a real thing? Like because I have not encountered any. <laughs> <laughs> the hard way. Oh no. Rook, protect me from Zuri's vengeance. Enough of the bullshit, Zuri. I'll pay you when I pay you. Deal with it. Got a problem with that? Take it up with the boss. My prices the may right, be high. But these the goods ain't exactly easy to I'm find. I'm sure you know the deal there. He'll buy pretty much anything, no matter how hot. Then we got our med bay on the left, run by the one and only Samina Mizra. She'll pat you up. If you've got the money, we don't run any free clinics. I get it. Here, Things cost it. money. Okay. Jesus Here's Christ, lady. Final stop. Over there, you've got the last Nova, where Bog serves water down. Yeah, fine and fun feels out of date. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, that's, I think that's a, a, a fairly, the most like, place on the apt, uh, you know, like a, a good the brief assessment of this game is. Run by the incomparable. You know. Shinya Voss. They've. Uh, Another new rook, Neva. I can't believe Delgado still lets you recruit, given what happened with the last one. They've made another one of these, and I, I like it. It's been taken care of, all right? I don't like loose ends, and this rook is the one who tied it off. Perhaps next time you'll try to be a bit more discerning regarding your choices. It's far more cost-effective. Yeah, yeah, love you too, darling. Anyway, Shinya handles our lifeblood. The money. Oh, money. Okay, good. Yeah, Calamari. let's keep talking about money. Reckoner, but if you ask me, he's actually a pain in the ass. And Neva will slit your throat if she thinks you'll bleed creds. Go to hell, boss. Take care of our new friend here, or I'll find a way to pull the pin on that little party popper in your chest. Anyway, Shinya will get you set up in our system. I've got real work to do. Once you're done, head upstairs and I'll introduce you to the boss. Time for a proper introduction. I am Shinya Voss, the official reckoner for the Crimson Fleet. And since Neva so thoughtfully mentioned it, yes, this is a bomb embedded. In fact, I find Delgado's idea of a security measure to be quite empowering. Since I uh, have some points in security, I can give the security response. Glad you approve. Obviously, betrayal isn't taken lightly around here. Since I oversee the bulk of transactions and maintain all accounts for the fleet, I'm a prime target for information. Should our enemies capture me or I grew any semblance of a moral conscience, you might consider me the greatest threat we have. For Delgado, the bomb grants peace of mind, and a certain degree of safety. It's been over five years since I've stepped off the... Now, let me get you set up. Thanks to advanced modifications even Dugin would envy, I can interface directly with our mainframe and the Galbank network. Oh man, this game has cyberspace. This allows me to move and clean credits faster and more efficiently than any run-of-the-mill cyber runner. There, you're done. All you need no, you were just looking at screens. Blessing, and you'll be one of us. None other than my ch is the interview. The perfect segue into thanks to our relations with contacts across the galaxy. I've granted you all the necessary permissions to access these listings at any time, using the computers that surround the core. If Neva's chosen one, now I believe that Take the elevator to the upper level. You right, oh boy. You can all stop 
Okay, so mission computers. I can go do some piracy. We can go steal some stuff. But then, you know, these credit rewards are not enough to... Like, I have so much money. Like, here's 5,000 credits for doing it. You know, like, no, I'm good. Let's go see what uh, what people are selling. Let's go back to... Oh, yeah, everyone here's got attitude. And now, I'll only the best. Anything actually good? Of course not. I could always use some more lockpicks, though. And some more med packs, honestly. You have one. And the this whole system that these games have had where all the vendors suck and also they have a limited amount of money so you can't just sell off your stuff to the first one you find is really annoying. And then when you compound the like limit the vendor credit system of like this vendor's out of money and can't buy your shit and then add to that the encumbrance system where you're like no I need to get rid of this bullshit it's a really frustrating set of systems when they the the way that they interlock uh, creates a lot of very annoying moments. This uh, this seems better. The numbers go up quite a bit on this one. Uh, what do I have equipped? Oh, it's got thermal resistance and all this other bonus stuff. Maybe I should uh, keep what I got for now. All right. I am here if you need me. What do you have? Guns? Everyone always. I like your hair. Hey, if you want to port, I carry most of this occasionally. Just don't screw me over. Oh, we all. A little advice, Sadi. You bleed for the Ah let me see your inventory. Well most people just whatever you need. Bullets. Never really sure uh how many bullets I need for which types. Feel like I could always use some seven seven seven. Or maybe some six point. I, I can never remember. Whatever. A calibrated Orion, stealth lasers, small battery, reflex sight, long barrel. I I am I've been using an Orion quite a bit lately, and so but I I don't have the ability to mod it well. Is there a way to see which guns take which ammo? You see here when we're looking at a gun, it'll tell us which ammo it takes, and also how many how much ammo we have currently. Um, uh -huh. I have a lawgiver that's probably better than that one. I had one of these that had some good mods on it, but it was stolen. And when I flew into a system, they scanned my ship and took it from me and charged me 500 credits for having stolen goods. I thought it was just contraband items that they were looking for. And so that was very annoying. This is a heavily modified... Uh, Razor, but I forget the name of the whatever that. Some of the guns have custom names, which is annoying uh, because, like, Feather, Fury. I'm like looking at it, going like, no, I think I have one of these that's not modded this way, so I should get this and sell that one, and you know, and whatever else. And like, yeah. another one of those. That's just a fucking pistol, man. <laughs> Pirate legend. I wish I could compare it to the other one of these I have as opposed to the gun I currently have equipped because that's not... I don't care about what I currently have equipped. I care about the other 6.5 millimeter gun I keep in my inventory should I need to be shooting that type of ammo because I've used all my other ammo or whatever. Um, oh, if I s sell it and buy it back at the Trade Authority, that'll clean it? Okay, I didn't know that. That's... That's good good to know. 
I, d I don't feel like I'm going to buy anything because I just I, the weapons I have are fine uh, and I have a lot of them and I just haven't seen I just haven't seen a lot of gear in shops and it's, it's you know a lot of games Need are like this Come see me. Uh, I haven't really found a lot of stuff that I'm like oh man that's so much All better right. than anything I've got this better be worth it whoa angry oh you got resources oh man I should buy cosmetics do you if you have yeah 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 uh what else uh adhesive like there's just some stuff that I've just fucking can't fucking find anywhere I forget what some of the other stuff I really needed was but uh but those are the big ones neon was a big one or laser sights, I think. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, and you, and you got a loaf of bread. Food has been fucking terrible in this game in terms of it takes up space in your inventory and it restores three hit points. Three fucking hit points. Like, you can upgrade so that food uh, is more effective, but it'll, like, double it or something. So it's like 10 health sucks, too, compared to what med packs can do, which is 4% of your health per second for 10 seconds. Like, that's, we're going to buy all of these. And if you have any trauma packs, we're buying those, too. You don't. But you find all this food everywhere that's, like, and all of it restores 3 or 5 health, and it's fucking terrible. And <laughs> it's like... It. It's annoying. Um, and if it's hard to find, we can talk about whatever. You you've got the same shit. All right. Oh, you've got an antique computer. One button mouse and everything. I, I can I. I guess I could set this up in an outpost if I wanted to. Maybe that would. Maybe that would be something. Well, this is a better helmet. But again, the, you know, light people on fire and some extra thermal resistance. I'm not really, well, the value on this also sucks. So this is more valuable. So maybe that's another sign that I should just buy that. Let's look at the rest of what what's here. Dracula, the book. I found a copy of Dracula on a space station. 10% diplomacy chance. Got a portable CD player. It's like hyenas. Look at all this 80s shit. A Varun pain blade. Those are fun, those are fun words to say. But yeah, let's buy that helmet. Uh, where was the... Yeah, this one. Don't miss me too much. Uh, so to equip, we have to go into inventory and then scroll down to helmets. And so there's no like version of your, like a screen that's like here, the, the like paper doll, like let me drag equipment onto a character or something. seems like it would be better here. Um, than, than what they've got. I'll hang on to that other helmet. I don't know why. But here are the guns that I've got on me. I've got them things on me. Sharks are too scared to take the key. Because it ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. Wow. What? <laughs> Captains handle most of the patrol. But yeah, all the inventory management and stuff in this game is annoying. Because on top of the food not being useful, you can favorite it. But who's going to favorite food that restores three hit points? So instead, you're like, well, I should see if I have any food before I use a health pack. And so I, let's go into this menu and scroll through it again. Like, oh, here's this restores four health. This does, you know, and some of them have additional 
uh, properties here, like better carry capacity, where you're like, oh, well, what if I am encumbered and it's a cool thing and I need five minutes of extra carry capacity? I should hang on to this forever instead of I should just sell all this stuff except for the stuff that restores, you know, fixes wounds and, and, and can, you know, uh, status effects. But like, here's a half a pound taken up by something that restores five fucking health. It's terrible. Like, there should just be one status item that fixes everything, and then you just get a bunch of those. It's space. It's the future. Like, we don't need 20 different items. It's not... Oh, yeah. yeah keep running. Thanks for coming by. So, now that we are all here, it's time to get down to business. The two of you are the only rooks that have made the latest cut. The rest, neighbors willing to put her neck on the line and vouch for... You'd better not disappoint. Or you'll find yourself answering to me personally. Oh my. All right. When you sign up with the Crimson Fleet, you're in it for the long haul. No one quits. When you're no a Crimson Fleet, you're a Crimson Fleet all the way. The way out is death. You stay loyal or you pay the consequences. Fleet before friends. Boss. <laughs> Good. Can we get on with this? I want to get drunk at the last Nova. I'm impressed. That is the first intelligent thing you have said this entire time, Mathis. Since you two seem so eager to pack your cold weather gear, Rooks. Oh, God. Don't tell me you're dragging him down to Suvaral for another one. Ten Johns to the surface, twelve dead Rooks. You think. Uh, stop talking. <laughs> I, I don't know. Fresh eyes in the fleet. And if these two want to impress, they're going to help me search those ruins. I hope you're right, Dale. This is, I have not had a problem with the dialogue in this game, but there's something about these characters specifically that is really rubbing me the wrong way. Like, they don't come off as tough. They don't come off as cool pirates. They come off as just like, fucking shut the fuck up. And they come off as super fake. Crix led the riots. Like y'all ain't shit. Birth to the Crimson Fleet. You should have seen the number of this fucking people I've gunned life. down already. We're going to I could murder everyone on this entire fucking station. Before Crix left the fleet, he left a message talking about a major score. Somewhere down the line, they started calling it Crix. If we're gonna beat those odds, Dale's leaving out the best part. That this whole. Cricks left a lot of big talk on that record. <laughs> when we get our hands on Crix's legacy. Sounds like someone wants. Okay. I to that end, the next stop is the lock. I've had Jazz feed the coordinates in. Since Mathis doesn't have a ship, he's going to ride with me. Pirate swashbuckler gear added. Uh huh. You could do Aurora anywhere. That's a cool town. I'm gonna. If I could start a town, I would start a town. But in my town, you could do drugs. Is basically what that lady just said. I would make a town where you could do drugs. Like, what are you twelve? Um. I just got some. Yeah. What was it? Was it another helmet? No. Oh, it was apparel. Plus five critical damage for wearing the. Swash buckler gear. Less thermal, corrosive, and airborne protection, but more physical and EM. That's actually probably good. I don't know. Let me go through, you fucking suck. All right. Okay. Yeah. Captain, it is pleasant to see you. Oops, I hit board instead of cockpit. Now we need to walk across the ship. That's fine. Find your seats. 
know your belongings. We'll uh we'll stop off at our one of our research stations here Anything and see if any of the stuff I bought will help with research. I don't think so. I think it'll help with mods. I don't have any mod terminals here. So I can't uh well, we need some polymers. We need some polytextiles. I should have looked and seen if they had any of those. Oh, we got some uh since I bought some adhesive, we can finish off grip and stock mods. Let's do that. Uh, no polymers, though. So I guess we don't actually finish that off. Oh, well. Uh, a lot of the progress on these, when it says blocked, it's because I haven't gone down the skill tree pathway to do this stuff. And that's... It's the sort of stuff like you want to do it now, but like the game is longer than you think. And so you're like, oh, right. It, it doesn't want me to get to like the highest level of the, you know, of crafting in the first 20 hours, I suppose. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Let's go to my inventory, resources, store, all resources. Okay. There was a quote in um Ready for touchdown. I think it was, was it the New York Times. I don't know. There were there was a Todd Howard interview that I was uh seeing some select quotes from this morning. You know, because it you know, people were pulling it for headlines and everything, and basically saying, you know, it was it was a quote from him saying, like, you know, when when Astro like in response to, hey, a lot of these planets don't have anything cool on them. He said, you know, something along the lines of, well, when astronauts first went to the moon, there wasn't anything there, but they sure weren't bored. And. I, Ready when you are. Like, yeah, if I could in real life explore a thousand planets that didn't have anything on them, I would probably be a lot more excited than hitting a fast travel button and going like, these rocks are a different color. You know what I mean? I don't know. It, about time you got here. I told you you were wasting your time, Dell. I hate surprises. Just do what I... And Mathis, I am running things around here. <laughs> Fine. All right. Listen up, because I... We are here to dig up any info about Grix's legacy. Whatever you pick up, don't think... Yeah, that was supposed to be a joke. Oh, fuck off. Don't worry about laughing, Delgado. It'll be a goddamn laugh riot when I split open his head with a crowbar. <gasps> All right, that's enough. If either of you want to fly with the crimp when you're on a job, if that doesn't work for you, just say so and I will. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and there's one more thing. Your little friend can tag along until we get to the outer doors of the prison. You go on now. I know how to handle myself when I spawn planets. Trust me. We have a lot of ground to cover between the landing area and the lock. You guys gonna walk at uh, the slowest? Look at this. Look at this trot this guy's doing. Fuck you. I'm going. You kidding me? Uh oh. Let's see if we can scan one. All right. Uh, like No Man's Sky, you can't just scan one to get full knowledge of a thing. You kind of want to scan, you know, six or seven of them. Hey, is a guy? Is that, is that a bad guy up there? What the fuck's going on? Fiber and adhesive. We need all the adhesive we can get. Can't scan the dead ones.
Okay. I'm kind of surprised that they're, you know, so they're, there's kind of a VATS equivalent when you're doing space combat. Um, which I think makes sense because I think you'll have some players that are just not like, you know, they can't wrap their mind around it super well. And ultimately, I think that's why you have a system like that. Um, I'm surprised they haven't, you know, put something like it into this game. Simply for people who are just not going to be able to be good at lining up headshots or, you know, like whatever else. Like, you know, hey, you can spec in this direction if you're just bad at shooting games. And you can still enjoy it or whatever. Because, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of shooting. Did you get that particular piece that... Yes, that right there. Excellent. Okay, we've 100% scanned that species. Not that that... Not that I'm going to go scan this entire planet, because if you want to actually sell, like, your research results, you need to complete a planet. And I'm not going to be here long enough to do that. So, it's sort of the... The downside, I guess. What are you guys, are you guys fighting over here? More of these stupid things? guys gonna um hey can we go into the thing or or no you guys are gonna run the other way because there's some enemy out there. okay fine i'll go find this enemy that's on the fucking map oh there's a bunch over here too fine no oh now i can okay yeah come on Here we are. The place where... Around five years. Room... Yeah. He needs to get this thing open like... Then crank up your suit heat, Mathis. All right, let's keep moving. Mathis ain't shit. That's a motherfucker. Cost a small fortune. Let's hope it pays off. First time I have been inside this part of the lock, so keep your eyes open. See anything unusual? Call it out. If it's hostile, take it down. Couldn't be simple. How many people did the UC stick down? Here? I'm uh, pretty frustrated that this this quest is another like follow this slow walking guy quest. That's uh disappointing. Much better. Even with the heating on, this place looks like a goddamn dump. Now you know why the prisoners got fed up and looked to Cricks to lead them out of here. And that's how the Crimson Fleet began. Yeah, yeah, we've all heard the story. It's not a story, Mathis. It's history. Remember that. Now. Keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. And it just feels like there were maybe, you know, over the years, maybe more, like if, if some of these things had been... Um... If they had poked and prodded on some of these systems a little bit more over the course of development and said, hey, do we really need this here? This slow walk and talk? This 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 sort of system? This sort of system? Is this still good? Or registered the prisoners before transferring them to a cell block. Or should we should we think about other things, you know, should we should we revisit a lot of this? Yeah, sure. Must have been awful. Better them than us. Wait. 
Oh, it's... Yeah, those are all the same. I'll switch to a different weapon, because this is, you know, not the right range for it. Uh, what do we have a lot of bullets for? Let's try this thing. You can always tell when you're in a mission location, at least this has been my experience with the game so far, uh, because the majority of the enemies are vastly below your level. If that makes any sense. Like, there's that one level 25 there, but then a lot of these have just been like level 10 or lower, and... Sometimes it seems like there's a, a, like, hey, if you get to the main mission, we really want you to be able to finish it no matter how you spec your characters or how you've been playing. So we've made this combat a lot easier than um, than it would be, you know, in, in, in other parts of the game or something, you know? I, I don't know. That's, that's, that's a theory I've got, but uh, it seems like story quests have been... Uh, deliberately low level. And maybe that's because I'm out doing a bunch of side stuff, and so I'm higher level than they... Th I, don't, I, I wonder if it scales or, or... I could open this weapon case, but there's there's never anything good in any of them. <laughs> like, I'd rather have the, uh, the lock pick, you know? I don't know. Well, let's check. Do I need to pick more locks to level up my... lock picking? Yeah, I do. So let's do it. Okay. So, you know, we have these pieces over here to fit into the lock. We need to fit the lock together. Uh, as I've upgraded my security, um, the rings turn blue if the currently selected piece can fit into them. But just because they can doesn't mean that they should. Because you might need a piece for a lower layer that is an optional piece that would get you through the top layer. And, you know, you... Okay, let's... let's so let's basically just, like, line these up and see. Okay, is there a three-piece? There is, but I don't think it's one that would... Okay, that one doesn't go, that one doesn't go. So it's really these, out of these four pieces. There's that one, and that leaves three. Our three piece only fits here. Oh wait, does it fit also here? It does. Okay, so let's try that and that. That's those three, that's the other ones. Yeah, so we'll put that one in, we'll put that one in. Okay, so it seems to be those three pieces are the ones we're going to use here. That one's lined up already. That one's lined up already. Oh, we're done. Okay. Cool. Great. Awesome. Awesome. Well, you know, the, the the thing I actually wanted out of that was progress on my security perk. So, I, you know. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. I could use some health, so let's uh, go. Let's go get rid of all the food in our inventory for health. Watch my health meter on this. You see it over on the right side of the screen. Yeah. Look at that go up now that I got those extra four hit points. Uh, bitten sandwich, another four health. Let's get that out of our inventory. Yeah, let's eat this apple. Let's eat this packaged apple. Another five health, another five health. 
Have you, have you, like the, the meter barely moves. Why are we doing this? Whatever. Have I made food recipes at all? I made some alien jerky. It restores four hit points. <laughs> I didn't realize I have ship parts in my inventory. That shouldn't be there. That should be in my ship inventory. Uh, ship parts are what you use to repair uh, the hole on your ship in combat. I do like that we're getting all this adhesive out of all these weird aliens. That's nice. Adhesive seems like something that factors into a lot of the early crafting recipes for mods uh, and for research, and, and it's been... I have not had any for a long time, so I guess nice to have some. You can favorite some stuff, you know? So I've got my... Let's use a... Let's, I guess use a, a med pack here. Must be a nest. I bet these things are... Yeah, and their bodies probably heard us firing from about a kilometer away. Hallelujah. I'm gonna look forward to killing this motherfucker. If we weren't on this job with Delgado, I'd drop you for saying that. Enough already. I should now let's see. Looks like we are in since you are such good friends, what We got two of the same pieces here, and that leaves two pieces. Okay, so we'll do that one, then that one. These novice locks are... Oh, I still fucked it up. <laughs> uh, so if you... You can undo, but that burns another pick, and so... Uh, deep core space suit. We'll take it and try to sell it. I don't know. I, I I was doing a lot of a lot of looting early on in the game, and it just eventually became such a like the 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 inventory management and encumbrance and everything had just become such well, a pain in the this ass. Eventually, is just great. The hell are we supposed to do now? Yeah, sure. Let's face it. Why? Because that's what is... The hell with that. We use this opportunity to take out Delgado, and at the same time... Oh. ...make some serious credits for ourselves. I'm listening. I you'd be on. Let's pretend for a second, Delgado. Once we get rid of him, we'll dig up the garbage ourselves. Are you crazy? I'm no rat for Delgado. I'm busting me ass to become... Busting me ass. Did, that ice fall trapped both of us in here. Unless we... Oh, fine. You know, for a second there. Now, let's find... <laughs> I guess that's one way through. Oh, here's a weapon workbench. Maybe we can uh, mod some weapons, get rid of some some stuff on our person. Uh, let's modify. Let's see if we can modify the. What is it? Oh, the, the Orion. Yeah, modified Orion. If we get out of here, remind me to thank Delgado for hanging us out to dry. Let's put a laser sight on it to help with target acquisition and increase accuracy. And if I do one more weapon mod, I'll be able to unlock weapon mod level two or whatever. We'll leave the short scope on it. Uh, can't do any of those. Can we do a barrel mod? Yeah. Look at this. 
Yeah. Slower ADS, increased accuracy, recoil, and range. That sounds all right. Let's do that. Since he's my follower, I'm guessing I can't actually kill him, though. Though that would be nice. Hey guys, are you still there? Fold. Hey, it's a computer. Override lockdown. Unlock all doors. Oh, we gotta go to D block. That's the high risk prisoner unit. All right, he Jesper Crix was in D block. Oh. Okay. Attention. Lockdown mode has been rescinded. Yeah, get some more med packs. And some bullets. Bullets don't weigh anything, thankfully. And here I thought we were going to be doing something fun, like rob a bank or something. Uh, Vasco, yes, Vasco does count towards the companion limit. When you equip him to the ship, he takes up one of your crew slots. Falling for that again. <laughs> All right. Uh, activate auxiliary power. And read some more stuff. Okay. Yeah. Five degrees. Security alert. Improvised weapons. Trivia contest. You know, computers. I'm also trying to get sneak attacks on account of uh, you need to get a bunch of those in order to upgrade your stealth, um, your your sneak stat. So any opportunity I can get to. So oh, because I put three mods, now it's specialized Orion, and because it's in alphabetical order, now I need to find it somewhere. Uh, you know, uh, uh. that didn't count, did it? Oh well. Oh. Nice. I don't think I got a sneak attack for that. What are we? What? Oh. Oh, they're coming from that way too, huh? Okay. Physics! Physics! Sorry, Physics. 
I misspoke. Does stealth get better as you level it up? Yeah. Um, so you don't even have a stealth meter when the game starts. That little hidden thing at the top doesn't show up until you put a point here. Um... And then I should have used, yeah, maybe I should have used a suppressed weapon. Maybe I would have got the sneak attack there. Um, yeah, so there's your your stealth upgrade options there. Um, and it seems like your armor weight. So I have a, I have armor on right now that uh, I it is chameleon armor. So I go all active camo when I crouch, but it doesn't last even even the slightest bit of movement um breaks the effect uh, but I thought that was kind of cool it has not been I uh, it has not been what I would call useful but it's cool <laughs> can you imagine how angry the prisoners were when they rioted I would hate to have been one of the guards Can't use the toilets. Oh, it's it already. We are already in combat, so. That was all me. They're doing a really good job of making me hate nah, this fucking guy. Like this, this is a really well-written character in terms of like, man, fuck this guy. Young Griloba. Okay, we're still in caution, so there's still yeah, there's still stuff. You see enemies on the radar somewhere. There. And there. Let's try and take a shot. Yeah, sneak attack. That's what we're doing. Filling up that meter. Great. So, have you changed your mind yet? Well, maybe we won't have. You saw it back there. Those things, whatever they were, they've probably ripped him to shreds by now. And if they haven't, we can still handle the job. You've got a point. All right, I'll follow you. So now that we've made it to the gun, keep doing what we've been doing. Right. I suppose we should start off by searching the tower for if he stashed any. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, good on him. Like again, fuck this guy. He, uh, everything about him sucks. But like at the same time, there's a part of me that's like, yeah, what if we did kill that fucking guy? The, so the but the weird context here is that. I am working with the space pirates at the behest of, like, the space navy who wants me to infiltrate and learn as much as I can about their operation. And so I have to sit and think, like, well, would, that, would the best thing I could do for the operation be to kill the guy running it? 
probably not. Also, I'm sure down the line I will get the opportunity to just join them and say fuck the Navy. Uh, if I so desire. D-block. <laughs> All right, which one of these is, is our guy? We got to scroll. There. D-3-118. I mean, we could just open them all, but like, I guess optional. Locate the cache in D2106. Okay. Cell D03118. Okay. It's a place to start, I guess. Which one is which? That's section three. That's our other thing. So let's go this away. It's annoying because the pathing, you know, the, 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 there's, the system is annoying to use. Uh, and also the arrows on the ground will not read you to, lead you to optional ob objectives. Unless there's some setting I have not been able to find. There's a high level one. Let's switch to something else. And really fucking kill this fucking thing. Uh... Probably go back to this radioactive thing. Eh, that's not really chewing through it as fast as I thought it would. But it's dead. Just the same. Ooh, cafeteria tray. Hold on, I gotta reload the gun. Here, you take care of it, smart guy. Unlock requires computer, but I thought we did this. I thought we did the. I thought we went to the computer. I thought we unlocked the thing. Is there another computer? You don't want to mess with me. Oh, yeah. Requires computer. This is opened with a computer, whereas this one is a lock I can pick. Is that a wall I can cut through or anything? Doesn't look like it. Well, fuck, man. I thought we fucking went to the fucking computer. I thought, the, what the fuck are we doing? Is there a computer? Y'all got a computer in here? Y'all keep a computer in the showers? No? Alright, maybe we try to go back up to the guard tower and see if we did something wrong with unlo unlocking section 2. Uh, this is, uh, okay. Oh, okay. It's here. We found it. It's a button here. Calibrated drum beat. I think I already have a better drum beat. Anything in here worth a damn? Okay. Now we're going back this way. Move. Move. 
So less a computer and more of a switch, but... Concussive Assassin's Refined Grendel. Double damage with gun bashing. Poison, concussive. That's probably a pretty good gun. And some more ammo and some lockpicks and... A stun mine that we're just going to leave there. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Nice to have it be worth uh, the trip for once. Let's burst fire. It's probably for the best. The guns tend to get pretty squirrely on the recoil end if you if you really hold the trigger down. So I've I've been squeezing off bursts. On most of the full auto weapons, anyway. There's still one of those fuckers over here somewhere. Yeah. I'm going to run to the restroom real quick. I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to put a hard save here just so we remember. And then decide if we're going to try to kill the other guy or not. Because I feel like that's about to come up. All right, there's some money in here and some guns and or bullets and a food tray. Uh... Well, we'll look at the food tray because can't believe this is where the fleet started. It's history, man. It blows me mind. Uh
Okay. And this is exactly the score I've been waiting to find. I need to contact Carter to let him know it's time to get off this rock. Good thing you recorded all that. This man masturbating. For now, we'll continue using his locker in the showers area as a drop point for the code to the utility closet. It's good that this is all going to be uh, points on a map that I get to just run to and not have to remember anything about what this guy is saying. Tell God I was right. Cricks must have hit the Galbank transport and stashed away the money or something. We play this right, and we're going to be filthy, stinking rich in no time. I appreciate that you can mitigate fall damage with your boost pack. It, uh, in, in cases like that, it does make it quite a bit easier to get the fuck out of a place. Oh, yeah. Did I not get XP for that? Oh, it's level 5. Maybe that's why. Okay, yeah. Evidence. So this might be something that I return to the uh, the Navy or whatever. Okay, Carter. Okay, Carter. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take the evidence back to the fucking navy because I, I I don't I don't like these I don't like these fucking guys. They seem like dickheads. I don't want to work with them. Start putting some quick saves down because we're gonna have to make the decision that this guy wants to make here in a little bit, I'm sure. Was this an armory? Looks like they cleared this place out. Let's take a look at this fancy gun I got and see if there's any other mods we can put on it. We can put a laser sight on it. Really fucking load it up. I like the reflex sights. It's suppressed. That's very handy. This is very handy. I don't have internal mods. Uh, burst fire. I like it. I like it. Let's put a laser sight on it. Increase accuracy a little bit, huh? No downside to the laser sight. Yeah, 
Yeah, a little slow on the reload. I might check the mag. What, uh, what other? Oh, we got some. Oops, I didn't mean to pick up the gun, but. Now well, whatever. Always looking for ammo. Mag pulse. I haven't seen one of those yet. Let's grab it. Uh, and then, yeah, can we... Oh, I'm still technically there's still an enemy out there somewhere, huh? Okay. Hi. What are you... Dead man holding a hammer. Ah, what the fucking... The fuck is that? Is it clipping through a wall? Good. Well, I've yet to see a flying enemy like that before. So that was fun. That was unexpected. But yeah, the, the the weapon upgrade systems seem interesting in terms of like what you can put on them, but I just the the number of resources you need to accumulate and skill points you need to spend in order to be able to do it, I I don't think it's worth it. Like even the heavily modded weapons that I've found are cool, but like you find them. And and so like my my big question has been like, are is it even gonna be am I just like wasting time on all of the on, on any kind of skill point stuff I'm, you know, spending on this sort of shit. It feels like I am. But also, I'm not having any trouble with any of the other stuff uh, that I have access to. So, you know, like, I'm, I'm not like... I look at it as like, well, I've got the skill points. Might as well. In New Game Plus, you think it's more important? Yeah, I, I, people are starting to talk about New Game Plus in hushed tones, like that's where the real game is, and like if that's the case, how can these? Uh, ha 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 ha! Hilarious. That's bullshit. Ah, five health on this meal kit. We've got to get it. In fact, we're gonna we're gonna eat that right now. Yeah. This mag pulse seems like it does a whole lot of damage, but I sure only have uh, sixteen bullets for it. There's no, like, mark as junk and sell all junk in this game either, which is... Considering how much fucking junk is in... I mean, they, they, I get, you know, the idea that miscellaneous is where the junk is supposed to show up. Like this food tray. Shaw Gang Cave Key! That's a fun set of words. What were we doing? Oh, healing. Uh, do we have any more food? Okay, let's just... Doesn't look like it. Looks like we've cleared our inventory of food. And so we'll just use a med pack. Let's throw a grenade out there. I don't know. Oh, I'm on fire. That seems bad. Almost out of bullets.
uh, for someone asking, I, I have this is this is not modded in any way. I'm not no DLSS mods, nothing like that. I don't even have I don't even have FSR turned on. I wish I could eat from right here. If I could like hold down A and well, I can do that, I guess, huh? Udon multi pack. She knows it's a multi pack. What other gun do we want to use? Something that probably fires fast. Why don't we go with this? Uh... Why do I have this? I thought I had a, I have a silence. I have a suppressed calibrated Eon. This weighs a lot less. And does more damage. Either way, I don't have any ammo for it. Let's take this thing. I'm trying to, you know, eh. This is not a good range for these scoped weapons, but whatever. You can shoot from the hip well enough. No, no, we don't want to transfer inventory into the body of the dead thing. Uh, we probably need to just use another med pack just in case. Dead body in a bathroom. A hundred years old, eh? It's amazing this entire place hasn't collapsed by now. Shut up. <laughs> hey, maybe there's some bullets in the weapon case. Let's find out. Okay, we got that, and then is this three-piece going to fit here? Yeah. Yep. Particle fuses. Hitman calibrated Nova Light. That's better than the other Nova Light that I had, so let's, uh, eh, let's use the Nova Light for a while. I don't know. Better damage against robots. Great. Chicken. Another quick save, and uh, that's a master lock. I think I did upgrade. I can. I think I can do master locks. I hope you found something because I am getting. Uh, I don't like that. There's a neutral op. Uh, there's no neutral option. I'm just like, yeah, we found it. I 
Hey, what the hell? You that madness? Tell him to shut up. Whatever. Okay. I'm looking at schematics for the lock. And I don't think there's a way to get you back to the surface from there. But I can open the outer doors to the shuttle bay and let you fly one of the shuttles down there directly up to the key. Don't worry about your ship. I will send some people down to get it. You just get your ass on that shuttle and... I mean, there's like a pilot on my ship. We could just fly, you know, he could just fly it. According to the schematics, then it's just a quick run across the ice to my ship. I don't care if you are finished or after that, you can come back. To okay. Shuttle bay activated. Initiate. Yup. That's got it. You have done a hell of a job, bro. So I guess Why here's the our. Why did you lie to Delgado about me? You didn't. Blame it on Barrett, even though he hasn't been here this whole time. I was just looking out for both of us. I could have called. Look, um, about all that. Yeah, yeah. Now. Ooh. Kind of that kind of made it seem like that there was there was never an option to actually. Well, maybe if I had agreed with him the whole time, maybe that would have been a different option. Oh boy. These get complicated in ways that are not. Uh, it's always fun. I do have three auto slots that we could use. Okay. Do we have any ones? We don't. So you have tricky things where like this piece can be used on all of the rings. So you're like, okay, well, I probably don't use it here. Let's line this one up and see what it looks like. One, two, three. And kind of a spread. cheat engine potential so i mean the game has built-in console commands so you know like like all of the other games from bethesda you know like you can you can open up the console and do all kinds of shit so you don't really need cheat engine necessarily to to do most of what you would want to do there is i saw a mod out there so if, if you start fucking around with the console it will disable your ability to earn achievements um I saw a mod that apparently re-enables achievements on modded games. Which if I was going to really start fucking around with this game, that's probably what I would do. Um, what's this one?
Okay. Uh, so these don't fit. This, no, this one piece does fit, but... I could do this one and the... Uh, let's try that one and then that one. Oh, there was one more ring and I wasn't even fucking paying attention and we're fucked. No, wait. No, we're fucked. God damn it. So every time you hit undo, it burns one of your lock picks. Um... And so you're like, well, did I fuck up 16 steps ago? Because that would be bad. Uh. And instead you can exit and just burn one pick and start over. And then this is a different one, right? Yeah, so it's it's different every time. So, we'll just you know, this is a point where you can go like, okay, well, we got a quick save for that. And, uh, you know, you could do this to your heart's content. I don't know. Maybe we just don't open this lock. I don't know that I have the patience for it right now while we're doing this. I think that the, um, So we'll use our auto slots here. To kind of get a leg up. Okay, so this is this one and then that one. And I've got enough one p uh, No, I don't. I don't have enough. But I can do this and then use a one piece and then that's the last ring, right? I mean, these are the exact same piece, right? So, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's the warden's bedroom. Beast Hunter's Advanced Ground Crew Space Helmet. I have to open this mannequin. O2 boosted deep mining pack. Basic boost pack. Way lower stats. Better oxygen capacity, which isn't the worst thing in the world, but... All right, congratulations. Your room is full of shit. I feel like opening a master lock should give you more credit towards the progress on your your stats than than you know, opening a novice lock or something. But All right, whatever. Let's get the fuck out of here. Should open the weapon case, you know? It's a very long reload. Oh. Okay. This 
Let's see if we can equip something a little crazier. Ah, uh, what do we got? 114 on a double barrel shotgun. Not the worst idea in the world. 88 on a one that holds six slugs. That's pretty good. Mag pulse. We don't have enough bullets to care. Got a lot of rounds for that thing, but it's a very slow, very slow gun. Hang on, I'm reloading this gun. And I got frostbite. That's not good. Frostbite became worse. Fuck this guy. Ah, eh, you know, he was shooting bullets at the thing, so maybe I shouldn't. I'm going to climb up the stairs here and... Uh, I should turn on damage numbers, especially if I'm going to use a shotgun at a range like this, because I'm not actually sure. Uh, didn't I have a gun that was shattering? Is that armor? The other? Yeah. I don't know if that... It's like they, they, they kind of have three life bars. Oh, hey. Hi. Oh. I don't know why you caught on fire. Is it because of something I did? Who could say? <laughs> oh, we're almost out of bullets for this gun. What else do we have? Go back to the shotguns. I might want to get up closer for that. Uh, how about the laser? You know, I put all this stuff on it. You know, 114 damage is, you know, is cool and all until you start to account for a slow rate of fire and all this other stuff. So, you know. So I guess I don't really get any, I don't, I'm not really building towards any, um, of my skills with this. I don't think I need any, I, I didn't put points in the laser, uh, cause I've been using ballistic weapons, weapons most of the time. I guess I could, you know, if I upgraded ballistic right now, then I would have a reason to kill with a ballistic weapon, but, uh, we're not going to, I'm not going to spend this point right now. Uh, I just get up in this fucking thing's face and. Okay, well, I guess the range on these shotguns is, uh, not bad, huh? Ah, yes, some alien genetic material. What the fuck is happening? Oh, I guess they're, this, they're opening the shuttle bay, right? Is that the... I need all this adhesive for the things I'm building. Ooh, we need some spice also, I think. A little bit of that alien spice. Oh, that's okay. Well, now it's all lit up.
You got anything cool on you? Money and bullets. What more can a girl ask for? I feel like this is the first one of these games where I've been selective about picking shit up because I, I don't want to deal with the hassle of having to fucking carry it around and sell it. Let's see if there's anything cool on this ship. It's got multiple floors. It's all fancy. Okay. I feel like the answer is, you know, so many times the answer of like, hey, is there anything cool here? Uh, has been no. Don't fuck me over and make this my ship. <laughs> Sometimes the... No, 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 fuck you. Asshole, asshole fucking video game. The, the multiple ship stuff. All right. Last time I got into a ship, it didn't make it the home ship on top of that. So that's even weirder. I guess it means that these fuckers are stealing my ship. Like, this is probably a plot point situation, right? Apogee complete. We're in orbit. And my crew who... All right. So, from a story perspective, the ship I had on the ground that had my cowboy friend on it, they're like, we'll send someone to go get it. Then when I got in this ship, it made it my home ship, and now my cowboy friend is on this ship because it's my home ship. Full ship. Talking integrity, 100%. Good to go, Cap. Just annoying. Just a, like uh, it's it's. I I know now isn't the best. Annoying. Time, but I need to talk with you later. Let's talk now. You know, traveling with you has been more than just good old fashioned fun. It's been. I love some know, good old fashioned fun. You know me. Well, j anyway, you used to not be so fond of teams, as I recall. I guess a good team is a team which brings me back to that plan I mentioned. My contact center. Nope. They were confident about not being detected, but not like too confident. Seems real to me. So they found an insurance settlement. Irvin's employers got paid as compensation for sabotage. Sounds fishy. That the mining company got a huge payout after they won the case against her. We have the settlement paperwork from there. Oh, also the cyber runner had to move on to other work, but sent me a passcode to some computer system. I'm not sure what it goes to yet. We can just... But anyway, the missing piece here is proven that Ir... So I discovered that Irvin's original lawyer still practices law. 
Oh, detective. I... If I'm the detective... Damn right we are. Anyway, we should take... Maybe she reviews it and decide... If we don't have a case, I... Yeah, yeah, let's... Fantastic. I've sent a list of everything we found. You know, I... Lead the way. Barrett considers you a friend. Oh, and now he's my permanent... Now we're on this... All right, well, let's go do this. I don't trust shielding. How you feeling about this door, Chief? Oh, you take me to the nicest places. It's about time. I was about to fly. Not now. Well? Oh, I guess like this would be the point where I turn it in as evidence, right? But well, that's not that interesting. <laughs> Don't worry. You finish the job. Translation. Give them what you... That's it? After losing so much of our crew, well, I'll be... Legacy wasn't referring to Crix's fortune. It's the name of an actual ship. A Galbank transport probably loaded with credits. Never heard any stories about a Gal. No, neighbor. Think. If Galbank covered it up, and over time, the lo- mm -hmm. Okay. The I'm sure he did not have a choice. Let us start with what we know. It was a Galbank- Neva, weren't you working on a deal with Rokov? Something about it. Are you serious? I... Adios mio. Will you shut up about your score and think for... That Starliner has a Galbank VIP suite aboard. Which means... Which means a Galbank exec will be aboard. Holy shit, that might... Have... Holy bag, shit. And since you've earned it, take this gun with you. Great. Thanks. Good. Neva and I are too well known to walk around the Starliner without me. I need you to board that ship. You'd better. Oh, before you leave, I wanted you to know that I took what you said about Mathis into consideration. Okay. And I've decided to cut him from the fleet. Honestly, I'm surprised he made it. We'll see. That's it then. Next. And remember. Rocco. Hey, Rook. Before you head out, I need to have a word with you. Hell of a job you did down there, Rook. Oh, I have to kill Matt. I have to kill the guy. Okay. Huh? Well, whatever. Fuck him. Uh, how do I get to where is he? Has he fallen through the ground? Is he where? Is that? How do I get? Okay, here we go. It's always a concern. You're like, did he fall through the ground? It seems like something that could have happened. Wrap your business up with Mathis, then we'll talk. Every captain here's earned their stripes. All right, so now I'm encumbered, but just barely because of that gun that he gave me. Maybe we can just eat our eat some food to get through this. Oh, and are we we're bleeding or something? We have a status effect of some kind. We have anything that fixes that or no? We have this, but do we have anything else? No. Looks like we don't. Like all these systems could be cleaned up. Like, hey, you have a status effect. Here's the thing that fixes it and just highlight that and, and let me automatically use it or, you know, something like that. Um... Companion affinity increases faster for 10 minutes. Like, I, I don't even need this shit. I should just... 
I should throw all that stuff away. <laughs> yeah, quality of life is definitely not this game's strong suit. I, the fast travel is very, uh, again, you know, it's very uh, quick about getting you from place to place. Almost to the game's detriment. Hey, I want to talk to you. Okay. Thanks to you, Delgado's cut me from the fleet. Well, you know what? You better get your own fleet. Because I'm coming after you. I stayed to give you a message that you... Oh, thanks for the hot tip on how to avoid basic ambushes. Did you read that somewhere? Now get the hell out of me way. Uh, I, I, we just quick saved, so I, I feel like I should. Whoa. Hey, what did you see? That sucks. Got me! <laughs> I knew we shouldn't trust you. Oh, it took me that. What? They, they said that the only way out of the fleet was fucking death. I'm doing what you people fucking said to fucking do. Bullshit. Bullshit. This fucking game, man. Corny. I want to talk to you. Thanks to you. No, I'm not going to try and talk. I'm going to take them up. What the? You're still here? Now get the hell out of me. Hey, I want to... <laughs> he just talked to him again. Oh, I see. Going to show poor Mathis a little mirth. Well, guess what? Your generosity is getting me kicked off the key. This is dumb. Oh, I will. I, Ooh, I promise. Will. Now get the hell out of me. Th this is a dumb interaction. This is a dumb interaction. All they spent all that time talking about, like, oh man, the only way out of the fleet is to get is when you're dead. I thought for sure the, it, it was going to walk me down there and be like, all right, go take care of him. And then I was going to have to fucking kill him because that's the way out of the fleet, right? I guess we're not full members yet or, or you know, so maybe it doesn't count. So you're just going to let this guy go. He knows a lot about your operation and what you're planning. And you're like, ah, you didn't make the cut, buddy. You got You got to leave. That's not, th these people are. Th that's fucking bad. Like I thought that at least there would be like an attack option in the dialogue tree or something. Th that's frustrating, man. I, that is my least favorite thing about these games is when you have these situations where you are outsmarting the story or, or whatever. You're just like, okay, well, clearly this is the thing that's going to happen. And it's like, no, it's not even an option. It makes the game feel so much more mechanical. It feels as mechanical as it truly is, right? As clockwork, as, you know, out of your control as it really is. It's annoying. What a frustrating situation. Like, the, the, it and then my next thing is sit on a bar stool? I'm gonna kill you. Oh, hey, bud. I'll sit here in the bar for an hour. Will someone show up? Is that what we're doing? What do you... I'm sorry, what am I doing? Meet Neva at her spot. Maybe. We haven't decided. Well, it's just, we were thinking. Why is it every time we go out and do a job, it's you who ends up with all our Skill magazine. At least we found one of those. Seems to me instead of trawling deep space for 
drastic change. We'll just wait for 24 hours. Will she show up? I don't know. How's everybody doing? It's very, yeah, it, it, you know, it's it's there's just frustrating elements in this game. Like like that, you know, like that. Like that interaction with that guy sucks. Like the the action I wanted to take in that scenario was not even that weird. It was something that it felt like they were foreshadowing, if nothing else. You know? Like that like, oh, I'm gonna have to fucking do this guy. We got a much bigger target right here at home. Okay. better or worse than Fallout 4. I like everything about the story and stuff in this game a lot better uh, than Fallout 4 and, of course, the performance. I mean, it's, it's a different situation because I'm playing on PC, whereas, you know, the, the big performance problems with Fallout 4 were they're at their worst on PS4. Um, in terms of setting and character and writing and a lot of other stuff, I, I like a lot of this game a lot more than that. Hey, thanks for fucking showing up. I've been waiting here for 25 hours. I did! Unless by wrap up my business, do you mean I should fucking wrap your business up with Mathis? Then we'll talk. Wrap your business up with Mathis. Then we'll talk. Do I need to get out of the way because you're going to sit in this chair? Some baddies on my tail, and I need a place to lay low. <laughs> Hard to believe. Just need to look away so she can sit down. Whole settled systems on the run someday. There you are. All right, look. I've been lining up a score with that app. I'm not about to let a payday slip. Of course, you'll get a cut. That's Rokov's been tipping me off about some kind of... at the event. They're gonna get... so it's simple. While you're on the... No. Dombrowski's only aboard to use the gal bank. I'm sure he'll be there partying with the others. Yeah, yeah, very funny. You're... Look, you can make all the jokes and excuses you want. Either way, I get my money. How much you want? Don't worry. I took notes. Sorry. Then it's settled. All right, Rook. Because that's exactly what you are. Oh, rookie. rookie. Okay, rookie. that's... Beneath all of that inexperience. So get used to hearing that word. Hit me up if you got questions. I do not. I'm worried that it would break something. Should I, uh... Are you hiring? Boy, am I glad to hear that. It's the Varun Zealots who are after me, and they don't give up easy. I'd be done for if they saw my ship. If the Varun Zealots don't sound like a... I'm not going to pay that kind of money for... Oh. Wouldn't be much of a smuggler if I wasn't. I'm glad you understand. <laughs> okay. That's true. There's... You're a good negotiator, Cap. I'll cut you a deal. Sure, fine by me. All right. Well, you're on the list. Mm, that's cool. Sounds Maybe like we'll do something idea. with you later. Maybe if I ever get enough enough. I, I wanted to build an outpost, but I, I've been uh, totally unable to get enough resources to build anything of value. If I ordered a wine. Um, and that's been really frustrating. 
You know, aside from the frightening populace and the gloomy aesthetic, this place isn't so bad. I'm done with this faction. I've decided that they're the fucking worst. Do I think the game would still work without voice acting? It would work less. That's for sure. In the fleet, you know, like all these guys talking about how fucking great. They, in the, yeah, in the fleet, you're a rookie, and you're we call you rookie. In the fleet, is you get murdered on the. This is, we're murder dudes. Oh right, this dog shit ship. Fuck me. All right, we're going to. We're going back to the fucking I, to the main town, I guess, because that's where I can change my home ship. Get out of this fucking garbage dump of a fucking ship. Man. Undock from this fucking thing. We're unlatched. Free and clear. Uh, so, okay, alright. Someone is... So, you don't need to stand on top of me for us to fly the ship. You can go... Ah! It's a good thing I'm not trying to do space combat. Oh, this ship also has no weapons on it, which is funny. Uh, let's get to... Uh, well, yeah, let's go to the Vigilance and report our progress, and then we'll go. Ugh. <sighs> Do not explore every system along this route. Try jumping to a closer system. Meanwhile, you have to clear... Okay, we have to like scroll in the weirdest way possible here. Okay, well, how about here? Can we go here? Oh, I can't do these jumps because I'll end up in combat in a ship that has no fucking... We're going to end up dead. We're, we're about to end up dead. Dad, have you ever tried a Oh, I never get tired of that. Okay. All right. Now that we've explored that system in the middle of the jump, we can now go where we were going. Yeah, you know, I don't know. There's there's frustrating stuff in this game that I wish was better and stuff that, like, you look at how long they've been making this type of game and the idea that we're still dealing with a lot of the same issues. It just becomes like... I saw one of the why isn't this stuff that... Like, this stuff has never been a focus... Oh, clearly, has never been a focus for them. I bet operations on the key are a clown show. I'm looking forward to reading your report. Yo, back... then things are moving forward. Perfect. Nice job, Rook. I was certain we'd fool Delgado, but never. She said, did you discover? Legacy. Wait a moment. Are you telling me Delgado may have actually located Crix's legacy? Oh yeah, it's totally Crix's legacy. It's at the end of a giant rainbow stretching through space. And you have to get it from three witches. I understand your sarcasm. But you can't deny that this data involves both Crix and Legacy. I suppose it's possible, sir. We assumed it was some... Well, let's find out if Delgado is chasing Go. Let me see what we have here. Nope. There are no records of a Gal Bank transport named the Legacy in the database. <laughs> I think Delgado's trying to manipulate you. What do you think, sir? I think there's no record because Galbank is hiding something. Oh. Delgado's no fool. What's your next move? Clever, Delgado. 
Very clever. We can't let Delgado get his hands on what could potentially turn up. Okay. Maybe I should head out to New Atlantis, sir. I could... No. Let's allow this to run its course. We have our... There's more to this than just finding the location of the transport. Jasper... And let Neva Mora take his place. No. The solution is okay. to stick to the undercover operation. It's imperative. If the Crimson Fleet gets its hands on a transport, I need you to do whatever you can to bring the boat dismissed. Like, don't I have... Uh, didn't I pick up some other... You have permission to speak freely. No, I guess I don't. Good luck. Um, but there was another um, mission that was just like... Get evidence. Okay, I guess I give that sort of stuff to... Yes? The vigilance no, of what? Shoot. No, no, that... It, I picked a different... It, it This game loves to have you go into here and pick a mission, and then as you get out of it, it just goes like, what? What were you doing? No, 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 you're doing... Where it goes, bleep run. Do what Commander Ikonde says, Remember to turn in any... Hmm? Glad to hear it. I'll be damned. So some of the UC guards at the lock helped touch off the riots. Everyone thought he was some kind of legendary criminal mastermind, but even the great Jasper Crix needed a helping hand to get out of her. That it? It's amazing that all this romantic nonsense about Crix's legacy really just amounts to a rumor Jasper Crix picked up in jail. It just goes to show you how a time. Anything else? All right. Keep up the good. I'll be here if you have any more questions. Okay. Uh, now we need to go back to our ship. And because search for evidence is a quest with no uh, set destination, there's nothing that's going to lead me back to my ship. Uh, let's see. If we just select this for now, that'll at least give us some kind of marker. We can... Howdy. Ah, UC Prison Shuttle. Great. Now let's go to, I guess, New Atlantis. And reset our ship back to the good one that has guns on it, because Jesus. Okay. Star map. Let's see if we can find it. Back out. Uh, it's near this system. Yeah, here it is. Okay, good. Uh, Jemison. That's where. That's where. Yes. Okay. Commercial district. Where do? I, where? Uh. Can I change ships here? It said I had to go to a major city to change ships. One of your ships is unregistered. You must register this ship before you can modify or upgrade it. Okay. okay. What? Can I sell it if it's unregistered? How about that? Yeah, no, I, I cannot switch to this ship. But I guess I'm not landed. No, I am landed. No, I'm not. I'm in space. Fuck it. I also don't want to go to any... I want to... Uh, I guess is it commercial district is the... No, that's not where the land... I guess if we could just go to New Atlantis. That's probably the... 
the section of town where the spaceport is. It doesn't just say spaceport. I don't know. You got to register a ship to sell a ship? Great. I have something for you. Do you? What is it, my friend? You got any questions? Do you have anything for me? Yes, right. Yes, hey, right. The thing I just mentioned to you five seconds ago. It's an alien sandwich. Thanks for the alien sandwich. Fuck this ship. All right, so now we're landed. Can I... Do I need to be in the ship to do it? I want this ship, but it's a it's a class B. Actually, I probably I mean what I might do is I might just upgrade this ship to class B when I when I finally do start doing my upgrades because this is my silly looking ship. Little lizard guy or something, I don't know. Little buddy. Uh, let's go to the cockpit and see if it happens there. I fuck this. I swear. This is so annoying. It's probably not going to let me do it here because I'm in the ship. Let's register the ship. Will that do it? No. Exit ship. Maybe I got to talk to the guy. Hey, guy. Anything I can help you with? I'd like to view and modify my okay, ships. No problem. <sighs> Make home ship. All right, there. Fuck you. I'm sure you can find something. Hello, I would like to sell this piece of garbage. I want, uh, well, I guess we made a little bit of money on that, even though most of the money went to registration. Who cares? At least we never have to fucking think about that ship again. Looks to me like you've already. Well, it even looks to you like you fucking uh, leave me alone. You fucking. Uh. Um. Okay, can I transfer to my... There's also, like, some spots where you can transfer to your ship's inventory and some spots where you can't. And I don't know if this is... I don't know if I'll be able to do it from here. No, it looks like no. All right, whatever. Um... Yeah, and then you get a bunch of activities like talk to a guy, which I did this one already, and it's still on my list, which is weird. Uh, but maybe that just means I need to talk to him again after I complete his existing mission. I don't, I don't know. Um, None of this is stuff I really feel like doing on the faction list. This one, the companion mission is kind of in, you know, and that's potentially interesting, but uh, that's probably what I'll do next. But, uh... But, yeah. That's Starfield. Starfield. 
it's uh it's cool it's cool but i i feel like as i spend more and more time with it you start to see more and more of the rough edges right i mean um And sometimes those can be frustrating, you know, as you, I had a, a case where like an elevator didn't work, you know, like the, the mission target was a, a, a button on an elevator and then the button didn't work when I got there. So I had to fast travel around it. And so there's been three or four times where I've had missions bug out in a way that you're like, okay, now I have to spend some time working around this broken thing. Um, and yeah, I don't know. Like I, I am enjoying it, but I, I find myself like in more recent sessions with it as I've spent more and more time with it, um, getting something done and then looking at that list of missions and just going like, I don't, I'm not really feeling compelled to do, uh, any of this stuff right now. Like it, it's, it's been a very easy game to put down and then you launch it the next night and get in there for a little while and go like, well, I guess I'll, I guess I'll do this. And some of it's been good and some of it's been not so good. And, um, you know, I think it's, it's, it's disappointing and frustrating that the game has issues, right? I mean, of course it was going to have some, but I think you know, the idea that it still has some of the same issues that a lot of these games have had. And I'm not even necessarily talking about bugs. I'm just talking about like there's just clunky things around the way some of these systems work and 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 whatever else. Like, um, there's some really cool stuff. Like, you know, if if there wasn't any cool stuff in there, then we wouldn't even be talking about it, right? It'd be like, well, whatever. This it's it the the game has technical issues, but also it sucks or, or whatever. So it's, but you just kind of look at it and go like, this is, yeah, this is very much another one of those, except the lack of, of a map is really crazy. Uh, the, like, like in a, in a, how did this ship other than it had to, um, like, was there another map system in, for cities and stuff in the works at some point that just didn't make it in? And I'll be curious to see how they support it. Because I, you know, for as much as they do patch their games and update them and all the other stuff, I don't know that they go when they put a bunch of additional systems in it. And so I wonder if they will put local maps into the game. That's one of those things that you look at and go like, it's really fucking crazy that that's not there. Um, for situations like we were talking about, where like, I would like to go to the store where they sell medical goods so I can stock up on med packs and whatever else. Um, I know that there's a shop like that in New Atlantis. I know there's another one in Neon. I, I have no idea how to get there. I've run past them. And if I happen to run past them again, then I'll go like, oh shit. And I'll, but I'm not going to go wander around this big city environment going like, where was this again? And I've already done that a couple of times. Like I got to sell all this shit. And I've done it encumbered. So, like, I can't even fucking walk fast. Like, I'm running around trying to figure out where the hell is the shop, the Jameson Imports, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, so I can get rid of this shit. And I'm like, I don't know what district it's in. I don't know. I, I don't know where it is. And then having to fucking stumble around with oxygen draining out because I'm encumbered. And, like, it's just a bad time. Like, that's one of those things where, like, just, you you know, the the systems, the carry weight stuff makes sense because they don't want you to pick up a zillion things and whatever. Like, we can have that discussion again if you really want to, but um, I would appreciate it if the en encumberment system didn't, you know, didn't penalize you when you're in a town, perhaps. Like, maybe that would be, a, like, a good middle ground where you're like, no, I'm just trying to run over here and sell this shit. Let me do it. Just let me do it. We're not in combat. There's no, you know, you're penalizing me for walking around the city that doesn't even have a map, so I can't even figure out where I need to go. Like, it just, it doesn't need that shit. And, and I think it's very easy for people, I, I, there's a certain type of person 
that when you kind of lay out criticisms like this at the game, you know, for whether they're rolling their eyes while they're saying it or they're being completely genuine, you do have that thing of people just go like, well, modders will fix it. Modders will finish the game. Um, that doesn't help anyone on Xbox. At all. At all. You know? Um... And, and modders shouldn't have to add basic functionality into the game. There's already mods out there that are claiming to be like, here's a better inventory screen. We can debate whether they're actually better or not. I haven't looked, uh, so I, I can't tell you that that stuff's actually better. But um, but they're not going to be able to, you know, like there's a bunch of mods out right now. That stuff doesn't run on Xbox. No one can go install that shit right now. But there'll probably eventually be some sort of scenario where they, and they'll probably try to monetize it again, which will be real fun. Well, you need your creation club credits if you want to buy the better map screen mod. <laughs> um, we'll see what happens. I, I that stuff's just frustrating, you know. Like I, I look at that, and you think about the number of years that went into making this game, and and then you think about where it's at. And again, I, I'm not saying it's in some dire, you know, like I, I wouldn't be complaining if I didn't want to play the game. Um, but it's just got enough fucking weird shit around the edges, stuff that they, the previous games have also been saddled with. You just look at it and go like, I, you know. Some of this stuff is not up for debate. You could you could debate like, hey, the encumberment system is a is a key part of it, and like you know, again, like people have been having that debate now about these games for decades. But, um, you know, stuff like the map, um, stuff like the way the ship stuff is managed, the the menus, the inventory screens, like a lot of that, you just go like, this is. For the size and scope of this game, for the number of hours people will spend playing this, um, it's kind of wild that the, the, these things are, are things that we're, we're still over here talking about, I guess. Um, but, you know, uh, for now, I'm going to stick with it. I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't, you know, there's, there's been a, a rise of people saying you need to mainline through the story quest and finish the game because New Game Plus is where the real action is and and for some mysterious reason that they won't get into. And I don't know how much of that is true or what, but like, um, sometimes that's a little tempting of just like, what if I just stopped caring? But like all the best stuff in these games are usually the faction quests. And so that's why, you know, even for as much as I don't like any of these Crimson Fleet fuckers, I feel compelled to stick with it because that's a whole quarter of the faction content in the game. And, uh, if there's going to be one quest line that does anything close to a Dark Brotherhood sort of thing, it will probably be the Space Pirates. So I feel like I kind of have to... I have to stick with that. Uh, even, if I, even if I don't like the initial bits of it here. So I, I don't know. I don't know. It's good. Like, you know, for, for... Like, if you look at the game as a whole, it's good. You know? Um... But, you know, I, I, this this stuff is also frustrating and it's, it's frustrating that we're having this conversation yet again for one of these games. You know, like you, you ask the question, like, what's it going to take? Like, not, there's no. When you look at Fallout 4 and you look at and now Starfield and, and look at some of the stuff that's broken in Starfield and, and, and you know, some of the bugs and, and, hey, this mission broke and, hey, this happened and. And that stuff will get addressed, but like, there's no bar anymore, um, for like this sort of stuff for as, for as much as, you know, I've, I've been talking about for a very long time, like these games in particular, but you know, games in general, uh, this is Microsoft's biggest game in a long time and it's still shipped in this state. And I'm sure like, uh, you know, like if you hear the, the, the letter that Todd Howard sent around internally that was like, oh, thanks to the advanced technology group, we wouldn't be here without Xbox and all the other stuff they've done. And I bet, God, imagine if 
they didn't have this stuff, like how, how if this game would ship in an even more messed up state, who knows? I don't know. It's a bummer. Um, you know, it, it's not an outrage. I, I feel like with Fallout 4, it was more of an outrage, especially because, like, with Fallout 4 on PlayStation 4, which is where I played it initially, that game had all of the bugs and problems that these games have, and then on top of that, miserable performance. Miserable performance. To the point where it's just like, it's unacceptable. Like, you look at it and go like, how... This is not, you know, in a world where cyberpunk then years later got pulled off shelves. Fallout 4 was just as fucked up, if not more than cyberpunk was at launch. I, you know what I, and I, again, I played cyberpunk on PC, so the performance stuff wasn't necessarily a huge problem. Um, but Fallout 4 was a way worse case than Cyberpunk was in a lot of ways. And so the idea that, that you know, that Cyberpunk got pulled off shelves and Fallout 4 got... Maybe, maybe Fallout 4 was one of the games they thought about when it came time to say, we're not going to let this happen again. <laughs> we're going to pull this one down from the store. I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's interesting, you know, we, we talk a lot about Microsoft, we talk a lot about Xbox as being like, whether it's one game or one decision or, you know, this is just like, they're, they're so close to getting everything in line to feel like everything's firing on all the cylinders and they're getting their feet under them after a disastrous Xbox one generation and blah, blah, blah. And we're here at another one of those moments where Starfield could have been the thing. If it was like a game of the year contender and blah, 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 you know, like that, that maybe that would have started to change the conversation. Instead, the conversation is still mired in a lot of that same stuff. Um, and I, again, you know, I, I like Starfield. I mean, I'm enjoying it in a general sense. Uh, it is not a game of the year contender. Um, anyway, that's going to do it. I'll be back on Friday. We'll play some 8-bit Nintendo video games. I got to put together a list. I, I don't have a list of what we're going to play on Friday yet, but, uh, but we'll be back to rank some more hardcore Nintendo video games. Like... I don't know. Well, I was going to say Kabuki Quantum Fighter, but we did that last week. So, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get into that. Um, <laughs> Fame Dalgo says, now those games don't need no patches. Like, yeah, let me, let me get a bunch of Funko Pops behind me and I can magically turn into the guy that says, back in my day, games were good. Well, fuck that. Modern games are fucking badass. Um, Back in my day, when a game was broken, they had to just start selling new cartridges and hope that no one noticed. That's why when you're going through your fucking ROM directories, you go, why are there two or three versions of, uh, you know, Rygar for the, you know, like, like there's so many different, like, oh, this is, this is, why are these cartridge revisions exist? Sometimes it's like Shinobi and they're like, hey, we put Batman in this and we had to take it out because we didn't own the rights to Batman. And sometimes it's like, hey, there's a fucking real crazy fucking crash bug somewhere in here and we need to fix it. That happens, whatever. I mean, that happened. There were PlayStation 2 games like that Tomb Raider game. That's the one I always go back to. Someone in the studio, like when that game was coming in hot, that, that was the, the shitty, the leather jacket Lara Croft Tomb Raider game that everyone fucking hated. Um, that they shipped it and it was Angel of Darkness. Yeah. Like they shipped it knowing it had like multiple crash bugs in it. And they're like, yeah, they like, you know, hey, Sony let us hit our ship date because we had so much marketing money around that date. We couldn't miss it. And, uh, basically we had to promise them that we would only ship X number of copies of this broken build. 
and that we would uh, fix it as soon as possible and get a new, uh, better revision out there on shelves. How crazy is that? That supposedly everyone involved in the selling of that game knew it was fucked in ways that some players never even fucking encountered because, they, you know, and, and they're like, oh yeah, we'll let you ship it anyway, but you got to ship a new one. That's not a process that uh, saves people who bought it early. Uh, sometimes they would be like, oh, if you send the cartridge in, we'll send you the new one or what, you know, in, in, in real extreme cases, Nintendo would do that. But that's, I don't know that they did that for that Tomb Raider game. Anyway, I'm going to get going. Have yourselves a good rest of your Wednesday. Be back on Friday. Play some more games. And in conclusion, games.